All right, well, first of all, I'm excited to, to see you guys face to face. Same thing Coach Huff said. Um, for how long that lasts, we'll see. But the same kind of philosophy we have in, in, uh, in Coach Huff's program that we take it day by day. Um, it's been a really good summer talking offensively for, for the guys working out. Um, the difference um, working with BA um, from their bodies from the day they met BA to where they are right now. BA being our strength coach, so we all know, um, is, is amazing to look at the pictures. You got guys who are 10, 15 pounds lighter, but a whole lot stronger, uh, which makes them faster, which makes them quicker, which makes them, you know, you know overall better, better uh, potential football players. So I'm excited to get going. Um, we're gonna get uh, have a great day today with meetings, work into practice tomorrow, and go from there day to day to day till we get to September 4th. So any questions? Fire away. Um, since when? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to say the greatest improvement is what they've done in the weight room from the time they met, and that's what the off season is for. That's what the summer is for. You know, spring ball was good. As soon as spring ball ended, they got to work. Um, they went to work through the summer, and you can see the differences in their body. Coach talking about shells, and that goes to the whole team. Uh, you know, Grant's a little lighter, but he's stronger. Um, all the way through the old line, a little lighter at times, but they're stronger. And and to me, that's been the biggest difference for them um, with uh, with the summer program they've spent with BA so far. And expect to see that on the field uh, starting tomorrow afternoon. Um, you, know, you know, that comes with, uh, with another year older. I always say the best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores one day. Um, and that's a, that's a confidence that he has. And last year, last year he, you know, and that was a philosophy we went into, we take care of yourself. You know what I mean? As a first-year player, as a first-year starter, take care of yourself, be a little bit of a leader, lead by example. And now that, that has been changed on, on the uh, expectations Coach Huff and myself have put him in to, yes, obviously take care of yourself, but now you got to pull the guys around you. Coach Huff got, you know, talk about everyone around him getting better. It's also part of his responsibility to make those guys better, and that's what, you know, the next step quarterback does. Um, so he has a, you know, confidence level of it, it's no longer a first-time thing for him. You know, it's, he's been there, he's seen it, he's done it, he's been through the ups, he's been through the downs, he's been through the good, he's been through the bad, he's been through an off season. he knows these guys inside out, and he has a confidence in himself. You know, Grant's not much of a talker, as we all know, but my point with guys who aren't big talkers, when you do grab a kid on a team and, and talk sternly to him, it means a whole heck of a lot than that guy who's hooting and hollering all day long, you know? So, you know, that's the type of leader that he has become as a guy that he, he believes in himself, number one, and he'll make the guys around him better. He moves forward. Talking about VA a little bit more, I mean, I think we all saw that video that went viral and it took us 10 to them and it got me pumped up. Yeah. And just how much has he changed this program for you guys already? Um, you know, you, you can't put a number on that or, or anything. I mean, he, he's done an outstanding job of getting these guys to buy in. You know, Coach Huff said, and you, you come in as new. Young guys don't really know, not sure if they want to buy in, want to adjust. It didn't take long to buy into that guy. I mean, you guys met him. He said hello to you guys, and you guys are ready to start doing doing jumping jacks and push-ups with him. So, to me, that's one of um, you know a, a big change from day one, which you asked that question, day one to where they are right now. If BA tells them to go down and run up and down the stadium steps a hundred times, they know that's going to make them better. If he tells them to put a 45-pound weight on their back while doing it, they're going to do it because they know they've seen the results. Um, and now, you know, we as coaches got to get those results on the field on a daily basis to get that. But BA has done an amazing job. And, you know, with the NCAA rules, the strength coach is a guy that spends more time with him than any of us, you know. So to have a guy like that in that room to, to um, have them buy in and get them where they are right now um, is, a, is a big deal for the program. It, it's a philosophy more than it is terminology. Terminology is there, you know, what we call things, how we call things, how we move, where we send guys to, um, matching up those ideas. Uh, Coach Huff brought in with, with, with stuff he had at you know, Alabama, other places he's been, to everyone in staff. Where, you know, Coach Leg, when you, when you join a new staff, you have your system, then you, you know, Coach Leg, you can see what we got, how about some ideas from you. 
Coach Locke, Coach Morrissey, Coach Trick, you know, bring it all in to fit into the system. Um, you know, Coach Huff has obviously done that. See, this is what we do. Okay, well, we did this and we did that, and it all matches. So the terminology is always there. That's not an issue. And that, that to me, that was a step up when, when we started spring, that they knew the terminology. It's a philosophy change on um, how we're going to use people. We have athletes on the outside. We have athletes at tight ends. We have athletes in the backfield, guys in the backfield that can get out of the backfield and make plays not just by handling the ball but by throwing them the ball, um, putting guys in different spots in different places, and then being able to use your arm of Grant, who is not an area of the field that that arm can't touch. So to me it's more of a philosophy change than it is uh, call this that and call this that. It's We already have that. Now let's, let, let's have the philosophy of and let's go. Yes. Yes. Spring and fall is spring and fall camp is to find out what guys are not good at and get them better at that. So I always tell the quarterback, if you want to throw a certain route tomorrow, then mess it up today, and you'll get a whole bunch tomorrow. Okay. Now Saturday afternoons in the fall um, is about maximizing the skill set. So let's put Talik in a situation where he can maximize what routes that he run best. You know, we'll end up having a chart as an offense. So this route. Here's the top three. This route, here's the top three. This route, here's the top three. And let's make sure we put them in those spots to run those routes on Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. What's it been like getting to know him, working with him, having a, a younger guy that, that plays the position at this level to kind of help with yeah, I'll Take a little bit of offense to a younger guy, but. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it, it, it's been good with every coach in that room. You know, that's always something you, you know, when you, when you get a new staff, and I say new, it's not, I mean, it's, it's a couple months old now, so it's not really new. We spend a lot of time together. But um, everyone in that room brings something good. You know, Trick has, a, one, a good background in football from childhood through his family to the coaches and, and, and guys he's worked with. So, you know, um, as, as a coordinator, you want to open up the floor and let them speak their minds and let them have their ideas. And, you know, he's very knowledgeable specifically in the pass game, but overall in, in football um, that he's, he's done a good job and adds some excitement to that room. And, you know, okay, we do this. This is something we did at this place. This is something, you know, I did when I was playing. And to me, that's, uh, that's huge to be able to get new ideas and fit it into the system that, that, we, uh, that we have and create our offense as I say in that room, as opposed to just this person's offense or that person's offense. Yeah, Gamage and Keaton are our are, are top guys that played football for us. Um, Shadid um, is a guy who played a little bit for us last year, but he needs to take the next step. Willie's a guy who played, but he needs to take the next step. Um, Jaden Harrison is a guy who brings a lot of speed and a very good skill set. Um, and then let's watch him play football this fall. There's one thing running around in the practices in your shorts and stuff like that and running around through the workouts is another thing when you put a hat on and, and start playing real life football. Um, so I'm excited to watch him go. Um, and then some young guys that have been in the program, the, the, the Caleb McMillans, the EJ Hortons, the guys like you know, Coach Huff brought up. You know, you had Knox and then you had a lot of guys who were they're waiting their turn, you know. To me, those are the guys I'm excited for this fall camp is can you push the Corey Gamches, can you push the Taliks, can you push the Willie Johnsons, the Shadita Men, those guys that have played football for us, and can you get yourself. Um, I always say about that receiver room and that skill position room is if it, it's, you tell us if we should play you or not. It's different than the quarterback where you normally play one quarterback and that's it. Okay? If you prove to us you can play and you prove to us you got a skill set and you prove to us you're the best at something, then it's our job as coaches to put the scheme together to make you fit and work that. So the Caleb Millens, the, the EJ Hortons um, of the world, and then you know some of the young freshmen, you see what you got. Um, Coach again brought it up in the sense of the, the competitiveness in each room. There's not going to be one kid in that room or any room that's not going to have an opportunity. But the way we practice, the number of reps we get, the depth chart is going to change. And I'm going to talk to them about that today. Depth chart is going to change a thousand times come September 4th. You're going to go up, you're going to go down, you're going to go back up, we're going to move around. It's going to be on a daily basis deal, which is the philosophy of the program. And to me, that makes everybody better. Um, yeah, Luke Saban, who uh, 
who, who's been in the program a long time, um, knows the offense as good, almost, you know, same level as Grant. Um, and Cam Fancher came in as a freshman last year who had a really good summer. He was able to pick things up and has a skill set. And, you know, it's always good when we as coaches can't be with him, but all of a sudden you're walking by the receiver and, hey, that, that new guy's pretty good, you know. And to me, that, that's important in that room because at no point can we let anyone feel comfortable um, and that's what Luke's job is to push Grant to that point. That's what Cam's job is to push Luke to that point. Um, and, and the competitiveness within the room makes us a better team. You know, when you get comfortable, and that's when it's, it's a bad deal. So we, you know, never allow them to get comfortable. Number one, and that that uh, competitiveness in every room that we have, and moving guys up and down, and letting guys in with the ones and twos and whatnot, um, keeps people on edge and makes them uh, compete harder.